Hello guys and happy Victory Monday. Um, sorry I did not do a reaction video yesterday. I actually picked up a shift from work from all the time I missed because of the pneumonia. So I was able to get some hours back. Um, and I was super, super tired when I got home last night. So I pretty much ate dinner and then passed the F out. Um, so not only did the Vikings remain undefeated in the, going over to London... They are 4-0 in London. They are also undefeated on the season, 5-0. and um, Am I happy we got the win? Sure, but 5-0, and ooh, once again, the anxiety, the 2016. Remember all this, folks. It's important. 2016. Started 5-0, and ended the season A&A, &A and missed the playoffs. Um, and there are some parallels I can draw from that season to this season, but I'm not going to think about it for right now because I'm going to knock on wood and hope to God that's not the case here. Um, but I am glad that we are actually going to the bye. Usually you don't like an early bye, but I'm glad we have a bye um, after this game because there are some things that need to be cleaned up. The last two games against the Packers and then obviously this game against the Jets were not perfect. They were actually very, very sloppy. Um, you know, got up to an early dominant lead. Um, in both the first halves, and then came back and uh, honestly just played god off on the second half for both games. So yeah, there's something that needs to clear up. But once again, I will reiterate: we are five and zero. Um, and so far, you know, once again, I will knock on wood. We've been lucky the last two games, and um, that's how 2022 pretty much was. Was we got lucky. Um, can't be a repeat of that season either, um, you know, because this defense, honestly, way, way, way better than, you know, that, that defense, obviously, um, that defense would, uh, would give up a cough and let it go wild. Um, this defense doesn't, I mean, this defense bends sometimes, but it doesn't break, um, so, yeah, and then offensively, I'm seeing some concerning signs from Sam Darnold. I mean, granted, he did get beat up yesterday. You know, he did get knocked down, um, and, you know, we all feared the worst, but he got back up. He's tough as nails, but he didn't really seem the same after that. So, and then, of course, Aaron Jones got beat up, and he got injured. But the prom what's promising is that early reports saying that um, he'll be good after the bye. And then hopefully we will also be getting TJ Hawkinson back after the bye as well. That would be very, very, very nice thing to have as well. So Vikings 5-0, and baby. All is good so far. And once again, I will knock on wood that this will not be a repeat of 2016 or repeat of 2022. All right. Okay, guys. Skull. Um... We got one more game left. Uh, tonight is the Saints and the Chiefs. And then I have will have my power rankings probably either tomorrow night. Most likely tomorrow night. So, yeah. See you guys. And once again, Skull Vikings.